Cardinal Dario Castrillon Hoyos witnessed the Pope's resignation announcement. He was among the cardinals that took part in the February 11th consistory to announce the canonization of three saints, including Mother Laura, on May 12. It was a terrible contrast, an unexpected blow. None of us, the cardinals, there was about 20 or 25 of us at the consistory, and it surprised all of us. Very few knew about it. Though he said it was unexpected, Cardinal Castrillon says he was not too surprised since the Pope himself had openly talked in the past about the possibility of stepping down. Personally, I had heard him say one day, and not because of challenges as Pope, but the challenges of one certain priest, I personally think that I would retire to a monastery to have some time to reflect and pray. Cardinal Castrillon knows Joseph Ratzinger from many years ago. When he was still a cardinal, the two lived in the same building on Piazza Città Leonina, not far from the Vatican. Afterward, as pope, they worked together on the commission Ecclesia Dei, a group in charge of bringing the traditionalist Lefebrians back into full communion with the Catholic Church, a task that remains pending. He was generous enough to see the bishops involved in this matter at Castel Gandolfo. The Holy Father has followed step by step, I would say, with a love for Christ and the Church. The problem that the bishops of the Society of St. Pius X had was the ordination of bishops without the Pope's permission, without a pontifical mandate. That was the only cause for excommunication. Another matter was cause for suspension. He analyzed this with much confidence, coldness within the Commission Ecclesia Dei, and we looked at this issue and the Pope did not doubt for one second as Pope for the love of the Church to open his arms towards reconciliation. Cardinal Castrillon is over 80 years old and will therefore not vote in the next conclave. However, he says even though it pains him to see Benedict XVI resign, when the Fumata Bianca appears and the new pope is chosen, he will, quote, bow his head and give thanks to the church's new leader in this time of uncertainty.